forward motors running forward you can see the forward contact is energized stop then reverse the motor will change the direction as you can see and also the reverse conductor is energized do you find this interesting then support this channel by liking by following by subscribing and also if you're in capacity just give to me something in that case i will appreciate are you ready for this then let's go three large cables of different color code emanate from distribution board to the circuit breaker then from the circuit breaker to the first conductor then from the first conductor to the second conductor live one live two live three respectively then from the second conductor take these cables back to the first conductor but looping on the output the output of the second conductor to the output of first conductor uh, only like uh, t1 and t2 should match but for t2 and t3 should be interchanged then fade three cables again from the conductor one to the thermal overload relay and then from the thermal overload relay output to the motor terminals u1 v1 and w1 respectively for control circuit take power from one phase and then feed it to the thermal overload pin 95 and then from pin 96 take it to the stop button pin 1 and then from pin 2 of the stop button feed it to both uh, pin 3 of start of the two start buttons for forward and reverse then from the output of first start button that is pin 4 of the start forward take it to the normally open of the first conductor uh, then the output of the normal open of the first conductor should be fed back to the first pin that is pin 3 of the forward start then the same again from the normally open first input loop it to the normally close of the second conductor and that case the output of the second conductor should be fed back to the energy coil a1 of the first conductor do the same for the second uh, stop, start button that is for the reverse so the output pin 4 goes to the normally open of the second conductor and then loop it to the second to the first conductor mean that is normally closed the output of normally closed to the first conductor goes back to the second conductor but in this case to the energy coil a1 but the output of the normally open of the second conductor goes back to pin 3 of the reverse start button feed the neutral conductor to the a2 coils or the second coil of the conductors energy coils and then also to the indicator uh, lamps in this case i'm using the push button with indicator lamp so with it has four terminals but i've done that so if you're having different also do the same so the neutral and the energy coil a1 to feed the indicator lamp for the forward and then a1 of the second conductor to feed the indicator lamp for the reverse uh, push button or indicator indication operation that is it then you can see this um, down the motor uh, is uh, being connected in delta as i said earlier so you'll see u1 be connected to w2 then v1 being connected to u2 then w1 being connected to v2 in that case you'll have done your installation in delta that's easy you can try it remember this the outline you can pause it slowly and you can see it and uh, it'll try it many times until you able to do it Thank you for watching that long so i've also attached a wiring diagram as a bonus as you can see this is the power and the control circuit diagram and you can now go through it bit by bit and understand it even better for your time please like please subscribe please follow share this video wide thank you for your time remember 10,000 likes for the star delta connection and auto star delta connection if i get 10000 likes i'll do that thank you